Today I'm delighted to present a speech from Jasmine, a 22-year-old resident of the Curtin electorate, as part of the Raise Our Voices program. Jasmine says, it wasn't until I joined the WA Justice Association that I learnt that Medicare is not universal, that once someone is incarcerated in Australia, they're denied access to equal health care. Australia is facing a fatal prison health care and mental health care crisis. Since January alone, there have been 61 deaths in custody. This crisis is rooted in the inadequacy of our current prison health care systems and not only undermines the human rights of prisoners, but is also unlawful. In the next 10 years, I want to see a more just, equal Australia, one where prisoners aren't dying from poor health care. The standard of health care in prisons is dangerously subpar to that provided by the general, to the general public. Allowing access to Medicare in prisons would equalise this standard of care and ensure Australia fulfils its domestic and international obligations to provide equal health care. Making Medicare truly universal would improve health and mental health outcomes for prisoners, reduce recidivism, aid in facilitating reintegration and improve community health. We're facing a crisis that's killing Australians, but we already have a functioning solution. I urge Parliament to heed the advice of the Australian Medical Association and allow prisoners access to Medicare for a more equal Australia. I thank Jasmine for her contribution to Parliament.